Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for being here today. As always, if you are new uh, and you are interested in tarot cards, tarot readings, true crime, unsolved cases, missing persons cases, and the occasional candle making video, please consider subscribing. I thank you so much and for those of you who come back every week and support me on both of those different platforms, I really truly appreciate it. I do want to thank you guys. A big huge thank you. I did reach a thousand subscribers so I'm super excited about that. Uh, I've been wanting to do a video just kind of like a midweek celebration video but I just couldn't squeeze it in this week but I really wanted to do one. But I want to definitely start, the, the whole plan was is once I reached a thousand uh, subscribers that I was going to start doing weekly live mini readings for all of you and that's exactly what I plan on doing. Um, I'm going to be thinking about which day of the week would be best. Um, I want to kind of set it up so that it's like my regular weekly upload. I want it to be on a certain day, I think. Um, that would be, I think, a little bit easier for everyone because that way you know if you have a set time that I'm going to be going live, then if you're able and willing to join, which I appreciate, then you can kind of plan for that, I think. So let me know in the you know, comment section if that works for you, if it, you would rather have it on a set time like that or a set day. So um, I'm going to be sitting down this weekend and trying to figure out which day of the week I want to do that. And then I'm going to start doing that next week. I will let you guys know which day of the week I decide to put it on. And then we'll start having our weekly lives. And whatever you want me to pull cards on, that is absolutely fine. If it's current events, if it's something personal, whatever. Uh, I'm open to just about anything, uh, so really looking forward to that, so I thank you guys so much. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Uh, very excited today. Remember in my last video I did say that I needed to get a card holder? I actually got a card holder, so I'm super excited. Of course, when I got this, I ordered this off of YouTube. I was super excited. I hurried up and tried it. And I'm not, when I first seen it on YouTube, I seen that it had the four lines. So I was like, oh, okay, I can stagger my cards and I can have all my cards up there. No, it doesn't work that good, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like if I put it in there like that, you guys can't really see it. So I do have to kind of angle it up like that. Even that, it looks like I'm going to have to kind of go forward here a little bit. Um, and I'm only going to be able to use like one line because I don't want to block the cards. So I'm going to have to just use one and then maybe line up more. I usually don't pull any more than like eight to ten at a time anyways. But yeah, so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to check that out today, see how it works. Um, and then what else? Oh, private readings. If you are interested in a private tarot reading, I will have all the information in the description box. All you have to do is email me and usually turnaround time is within a day. Uh, I will do just like how I do here. It's the same uh, same setup. I You will actually see me uh, shuffle and uh, pull the cards and then I'll upload it to YouTube and I upload it as an unlisted video which just means that you are the only one that can view that video. Uh, and then I send you the link and you can watch it as many times as you need to. I keep it up there so it's there for you. You can watch it as many times whenever you want. Um, so if you're interested in a private tarot reading, just reach out to me, email me. I'll have my email in the description box and then we'll set it up. Alright, so for today's reading, um, this was a requested video. And it's a, it's actually a, it's a current case. Okay, It's very, very fresh. It's very recent. And I had to look into it because I, I have no information about this case. And it is Missing Persons Maya Malete. And I think that's how you pronounce her name, Maya Malete. She went missing about six months ago. Okay, she's a, 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 I think she just turned 40, if I'm not mistaken. She just had a birthday here a month or two ago. 40-year-old uh, mother of three children, married very attractive by all accounts of the interviews that I have read by her sister and friends seem to be a very positive friendly loving woman uh, just seems like one of those people that always wanted to pick her friends up help her friends out put a smile on everyone's face if someone was having a down moment she'd be the person that first person that you would go to for a kind word or some advice or something like that um, so kind of a sad situation. She went missing six months ago. No sign of her. I think the last time uh, family saw her was January 7th of 
Um, I don't know if that would be, I think that's, yeah, January 7th of 2021. And that's the last time anybody in her family uh, heard of her or, or have seen her. And uh, I think a lot of speculation has been surrounding the husband. She is married. Her husband's name is Larry, I think. Again, I literally just looked into this case yesterday, and there's not a whole lot of information on it. It's just basically articles. Uh, I Just kind of trying to get a grasp of the dynamics here. It seems like, honestly, it seems like husband is like really sus in my opinion. He, he's, he's definitely not looking right. Um, let me just go ahead and read the article that I have and then we'll get right into the reading because I don't even know enough to even try to summarize it and tell you what's going on. Um, all right, so it has been six months since Maya Malete, a Chula Vista mother of three, disappeared. The last time her family saw or heard from her was January 7th. She was reported last seen at her home on Paseo Los Gatos in Chula Vista. I feel like I butchered that, but... For a half a year, family, friends, and even strangers have searched for Malete. It says, quote, it's been terrible for the whole family. My mom and dad just seeing them every day, you know, missing their daughter, said Maya Malete's older sister. Her kids are her life. We're so used to seeing each other every other weekend, and now you know she's just not with us. It's just so hard. Um, it says uh, the sister and her family, the sister and the family of Maya have not been able to stay in contact with Maya's three children. Uh, it sounds like the husband, Larry, has kind of stopped communication between the grandchildren and Maya's family. So that's a red flag in my opinion. Um, let me see what else there is. It says... In April, Chula Vista Police announced the department teamed up with the San Diego County District Attorney's Office, FBI, and Naval Criminal Investigation Service in their search for Maya. So far, they have written 51 search warrants relating to the investigation, including three served at the Malete House, where Maya was last seen. Last week, investigators left the house with a black Jeep. So that is just recent, like as in maybe uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think that um, from what I gather, it sounds like the husband posted a photo of his youngest son. I think the youngest one is maybe four or five. Posted a photo on his social media of his youngest son posing in a room of their house, but behind him is the husband's collection of guns. He had a ton of guns and this uh, photo kind of went viral and apparently the police got wind of it and I think that they went to the home and they seized all of the weapons and so there's been some speculation uh, you know just what does he have all those guns for? Uh, another thing that I want to bring up is I read that some of the neighbors in the area have come forward and have provided their ring video footage because there's audio on some of them and some of them on the very last night that Maya was seen or the last night anybody heard from her in the evening in that neighborhood near their home some of the neighbors audio footage actually picked up what they thought sounded like a couple of gunshots and you can actually hear this it's online i actually listened to it myself and so after that no one ever seen maya again so we have a husband here that has a boatload of guns in his possession and then his wife goes missing and on that very night that his wife went missing supposedly people hear gunshots in and around their home so there's some speculation that possibly her husband larry had something to do with her so i feel like i butchered that anyways i'm just going to go with it uh, and then go ahead and start the reading and we'll see what comes up so i'm going to be using the heaven and earth tarot and uh, i'll see if i can pull a few cards on the new era elements but i'm going to start with heaven and earth and see what happened if we can get any kind of information from the cards in re regards to Maya Malete. All right. Maya Malete. Maya Malete. And I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And she is such a gorgeous 
woman. I, oh, God. It's just, I don't know. These, these stories are just too damn frequent, to be honest with you. I mean, it seems like every day there's something going on out in the world. I think I read, too, in an article that it was speculated that the day before she went missing, I think she had went to a divorce attorney. Uh, I think I read somewhere, I, and I'll have to go back and get all my sources so I can share that in the description box because I want you guys to be able to read it as well. But I read somewhere that um, uh, they, her and her husband had not been getting along very well. They have been kind of on the outs. And she had just recently uh, bought that black Jeep that they seized and was really happy about it, was really kind of ready to start this new phase of her life, and that possibly could have included a divorce. And so is that, are, are we looking at a motive here? All right. I am a lette. Okay, I'm going to throw in some reversals. swords. What are the odds that I would pick the exact same card that I tested out my stand with in the beginning? Alright, that's not good. I feel like you can't really see that. Hold on, let me lift that up a little bit. Okay. So let's start with that. Um, push it this way just a tad bit here. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing uh, straight away is that Ten of Swords, okay? So this one here does not give me a good feeling as far as, you know, the outcome of this reading. And I'm not going to make any kind of, you know, because, you know, tarot cards are just that. And as much as I believe in them, um, it's not 100% factual, right? That's just the way it is. I've pulled cards for myself and they have been so eerily accurate that I very seldom pull cards for myself anymore because sometimes I just don't want to know, okay? I just don't want to know what's coming. I'd rather just live in the moment and not necessarily know. But they can kind of help bring clarity to your life on occasion, okay? And so they're helpful in that aspect, but they're not 100%. And so um, I've really thought about it lately, and I really want to take a step back as far as trying to insinuate that someone is here or not here or has moved on. And, you know, just kind of reword it somehow because I really don't want to say that based on, based on pulling cards. I, I don't, okay, quite frankly. But this is not a good start, okay? This, to, to me, when I pull swords like that, tells of an injury, something, a betrayal. Uh, you can look at this metaphorically. You can look at this literally, okay? Um, but sometimes when I'm reading on true crime and I pull swords, especially this one, I'm looking at some sort of physical harm. Okay, uh, and the fact that this is a betrayal card tells me that the physical harm probably was by someone that she trusted. Um, I kind of feel like this one is her. Okay, the Queen of Swords is her, definitely. She was kind of getting to the point to where she had had enough and she was going to live her life how she seemed fit. Okay, take control. Uh, probably was no longer in the mood for bullshit if there was some... The, the Queen of Swords is definitely that slice-through-the-bullshit kind of 
queen, right? That is exactly what she is. Okay, she has been there, done that. She's lived through it. She knows what she wants, and she knows. And look at the way she's holding that head. You know, she's decapitated someone. So to me, when I think of her going to a divorce attorney, that kind of goes with this card. And I'm thinking of someone who is kind of taking back their life, perhaps was not happy in the marriage or in the relationship, and was going to deal with it. Plain and simple, she was going to deal with it. Uh, this magician here, the fact that it's coming up upright and not reversed, had it come out reversed, I would have thought maybe we were referring to the husband. But because it's not com coming out that way, it's coming out upright, I do think that we're, we're talking about Maya. Okay, so this is a very, mm, this is a go-getter. This is someone who, if she knows what she wants, she will go after it. I mean, if you put these two forces together, the Queen of Swords and this magician here, this is someone who is capable of achieving anything she wants, okay? If she wants to do it, she will do it. If it's if there's a will, there's a way. And she had a will, okay? She was definitely strong-willed and a, a, a definite go-getter. Um, this really kind of says a lot about her personality, okay? And that kind of personality can be very threatening to someone in a re in, to someone in a relationship with that person especially if they're not on the same level okay from what i read maya and her husband larry have been together since high school so these were high school sweethearts okay and sometimes when we are with a high school sweetheart and we grow sometimes we grow apart or we grow into the person that we're meant to be and it's not the person that we were in high school so i kind of feel like uh with that queen of swords to me Maya kind of grew into her own self. She grew into the person that she was meant to be. She grew into being a different person than what she was in high school. And that may have included mm, different things that maybe her husband didn't see eye to eye with. Or maybe he felt threatened by that. Okay, so she was dealing with deception. There was deception around her. Okay, and there could have been a little deception even on her end. Uh, sometimes when this card comes out, it can be people that are coming into that person's life, or it can also be, uh, it can also be that person themselves. They may be not honest with themselves about what they want to do, what they need to do. But I do feel like in this particular case, she was dealing with somebody that was not being completely truthful to her. Uh, I don't know in what aspects yet. We'll have to pull more cards to to find out. But definitely, and uh, again, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this definitely is her as well because it really makes me think about that black jeep. Okay, so I did read in the article that I can't remember what she did for a living. Um, I can't remember what she did for a living, but I think she had a she had a pretty good job. She was doing well for herself. Um yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I don't have it up on my screen. But she was doing pretty well for herself, okay? And I kind of have a feeling that she could have been definitely uh, financially independent. She just recently bought that black Jeep that I read about in the article that they just, investigators just seized last week. Um, she got that on her own. She was really proud of that, okay? So that kind of, to me, definitely goes with this Queen of Pentacles kind of I'm starting to reap the rewards of my hard work. That's what that is, okay? She was she was working hard, and she was now starting to see the benefits of that work. And she bought a Jeep, and she had a home, and I feel 100% she would have fully been able to continue on and, and continue to grow. So definitely this top row here. To me, when I look at this first top row, these four cards here, I feel like these are all Maya. Okay, these are Maya. This is her, this is her, this is her, and unfortunately, I feel like this is her as well. Um, what that means yet, I, I don't know, but I, I do feel like there was some sort of an injury, some sort of a betrayal, uh, something. Okay, uh, it's a 10, so it's also an ending. It's a conclusion to something, right? Uh, a transition of sorts, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, we also have the Seven of Pentacles, right? So this is that pause and reflect moment. Kind of makes me feel like she wasn't quite... Uh, 
this is usually a card where you kind of pause and reflect and you you kind of take a minute to see and assess where you're at in life where you're at financially where you're at in all aspects and decide how you want to move forward and what you need to tweak what you need to get rid of what you need to add what you need to you know change and then continue on and i feel like this was her her point to where she was trying to figure out what she wanted to do and i think that part of that was the considering a possible divorce because i believe like i said she was going to visit a lawyer a divorce attorney and so i think that was her pause moment that was her seven of pentacles moment okay possibly even a seven of cups moment where she's really thinking um, how am I going to move forward? Is this really what I want? Do I want to stay in this relationship? Do I want to stay in this marriage? I'm not happy. I want to, I want a, a different future. Okay. So she was definitely in that. Uh, I'm not even sure based off of this card that she had made her choice 110%. Uh, but she was definitely, I think, considering, uh, different options and, and possibly divorce. And so that was the process that she was in. But because of this one, like I said, I don't think she was 100% yet. I think that she was probably getting information and probably leaning towards that, but not 100% there yet. Um, that seven, she's got a, quite a few seven. Well, she's got two, no, she's got three sevens. Jesus. She's got three sevens, which makes me feel like even though she may have been confident and knew what she wanted out of life, she was kind of having a mo moment, a, a, a pause for reflection, kind of like, what do I want? What do I really, really, what, what do I really want? What, how am I going to go forward? Uh, kind of considering all of her options type of uh, thing, because usually seven, it, it can be sometimes confusion, um, reflection. So I, she was definitely... Uh, with that many sevens, yeah. I mean, we've got that magician. We've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So she knew what she wanted. But she was, I think she was definitely struggling with this particular decision. If she was considering a divorce, I think that it was just that. She was considering it. I don't think she was 100% sure yet. She was weighing all of her options. She was probably going there to get information to see what the process entailed. Um, probably going to sit down and, and talk with her family and, and ask what their opinion is. You know, is this the right choice for me? Is this really what I want to do? I think she would have ultimately decided to get a divorce, but I don't think she was quite there yet mentally just because of these sevens coming up. But that seven of wands tells me this one here she was kind of tired okay she was tired because there was a lot of bickering this to me was uh this can indicate that there there was some arguing and bickering going on between the two of them okay and the fact that i pulled this card on her i take that as her being that person on that mountain right higher perspective higher location kind of seemed like it, Probably, I would venture to say that, mm, well, how am I trying to word this? I'm not trying to blame him and say that when, you know, when, when couples argue, you know, there's his story, her story, and then the true story in the middle, right? We, we've all been there. We've all done that. It was him. He, he's the one that made me do this, or it was her. She made me do this, or she does this, and this is why I do that. So a lot of that kind of going on, but... I almost get the feeling that she was almost justified in some of the things that she was saying just because of the position of this man being higher up. Um, so I kind of feel like there was some things going on and they were things that were that that were truly, truly unfair to her. Okay, uh, I feel like she was justified in feeling defensive because she was definitely being put into that position possibly by her husband. Okay, uh, We've got we've got secrets we've got the moon card so this tells me that we're still learning information we're still going to have information brought out okay we don't have the whole story yet and i i always feel like when the moon card comes out it's a good sign because i do feel like it's a sign saying that 
it is going to come out eventually okay it's going to trickle out eventually it may take some time it may ha not happen overnight but it is going to trickle out eventually because what is done in the dark is brought to the light okay that's just what it is that's what the moon does it illuminates things it may not illuminate them in the time frame that we're hoping for but it will come out okay i do feel like this case is going to be solved eventually and i feel like the police probably have a good idea of what happened uh, they are now trying to collect physical evidence to go along with whatever they're thinking. And we've got the Knight of Cups. Okay, so very, very interesting that the Knight of Cups is coming out in her reading. This is interesting. Um, we've got two possibilities here. We've got someone else possibly entering into the picture. Someone else that maybe has peaked maya's interest is there someone at work is there someone now i also read in an article that her husband was extremely jealous of her extremely jealous and actually went to her employer and told her employer that she is not allowed to communicate with male co-workers okay so this is a man who is extremely jealous so either and <sighs> And when a woman is in a relationship like that, nine times out of ten, she's not doing anything. <laughs> she's not doing anything for the ju for for that to occur. Okay, nine times out of ten, he's probably the one fooling around, and you know that that's just usually statistical. That's what it is, right? She probably wasn't doing anything. She probably was just going to work and working, uh, but you know that's usually how it goes so I don't really feel like in my heart of hearts that this is someone that she was maybe seeing on the side or someone who was interested in her I kind of feel like this was the husband okay and I feel like that kind of shows and I don't want to say shallow but it, it kind of shows me how he is as a husband a husband when I pull a card or pull cards on a relationship a true true profound deep relationship a couple that really really truly loves one another you're going to pull things like the two of cups you're going to pull things like the lovers okay um this one here is the beginning of a relationship this is that flirtatious time that honeymoon phase this is the guy who's calling you and telling you how beautiful you are and uh how you're his world and uh he's doing it to you and probably 25 other women at the same time okay that that that's to me how sometimes i feel about the knight of cups this is like a shallow uh, kind of, um, you know, player type of person, okay, that, that old school romantic, uh, really kind of gets the girls going crazy, but when it comes to seriousness, like seriousness of a relationship, like being a true, true compassionate partner, okay, through thick and thin, this isn't the one, this isn't the one. This is, and then that's why I say, I don't want to say shallow perhaps, but shallow is like the word I'm thinking of. This is not the person that you're going to depend on for forever, okay? This is a person who is a, a flirt and who does like to play around. And so I do feel like this is Larry. This is the husband. And that just kind of shows, it, to me, it speaks of his immaturity, to be honest with you. That's what I think of. Because I feel like when this card comes out, this is more like... Um, like a high school romance type thing that that's how that's how i feel you know a guy trying to get the attention of a girl he's nice he's opening doors he's paying for dinner and he's pulling out your chair and then when shit gets real and you guys are together and you got three kids later all that stuff is out the window okay all that stuff is out the window and that that shouldn't happen and i don't think it happens in all the cases but i think in her situation with this card coming out for him i think that that kind of gives us an idea of how larry truly is so i want to go that kind of gives us a little bit of a background of her and him and their dynamics i think i want to go into that night so what happened that night what happened that night what's going on here what happened that night What happened that night? Tell us what happened that night. Tell us what happened that night. Tell us what happened that night. What last night? What last night. Okay, yeah, so I do feel like we are going to have some resolution in this case. I really do.
I've got the death card. Oh gosh darn it, come on now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was oh so excited about this stand and it's not even working properly, Jesus. All right, um, okay. Whoops, all right, so right away, um, the first thing I notice is that justice. I do feel like justice is going to prevail in this case. Um, let me see if I can get my lighting a little bit. Maybe that helps, maybe it helps with the light not directly on the cards. I wish I was the type of person that knew exactly where to point my light so I could provide you guys with the best quality, but I'm not savvy like that with technology. I don't know. I'm sitting here 20 minutes before I start every reading every week trying to aim my light in the right direction, and I can never figure it out. So we're just going to turn it off for a second. All right, so the justice card tells me that I do feel like there is going to be justice in this case. I really do. I always feel like that's a good sign. It doesn't always come out. It really doesn't. Um, or it could come out, but it could come out reversed. Okay. And I really do feel like in this particular case, it's justice here in the physical world. Okay. I don't think it's ethereal. I don't think it's, you know, in the next life. I think it is here in the physical world. There is going to be justice. And I think it's going to be soon based on the card right next to it. We've got the Ten of Wands. So I, I really do kind of feel like this is possibly, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I do think because of the Knight of Cups that we are talking about the husband. Um, I'm thinking the husband because of the Knight of Cups, because of the Four of Wands, because of the Trust card, okay, the strength card, those things to me are indicating relationship. So I do believe that we are dealing with a relationship here. And I do think that we are talking about the husband. And I'm actually going to pull a few cards on Larry just himself. But I do feel like this is his stack of cards that are about to come crashing down on him. Okay, he's barely just hanging on. And I, I really truly believe that this is her husband. He is just barely hanging on. He's got a lot of things that he is trying to cover up he's trying to deal with he's he's you know uh he's got these search warrants i think i read in that article that there's been 51 search warrants written i think several of them if not most of them are probably in and around the house or the home so i do think that this is his world that's kind of crumbling in on him and it is about to come crashing down okay we are we are at a 10 so that this means that we're about done okay it, things are about done and I'm really extremely happy that it came out right next to that Justice card. I do think it's going to be him. And the Princess of Wands here, that to me, um, I don't know. This particular card kind of has tainted my idea of the Princess of Wands. That's the thing about different decks. That's why I like having different decks. I like to have a collection because you make associations with the cards and they're not always the same so yeah you can go on the definition of what the page of wands is uh, but i don't like to just go on the definition alone i like to go on the imagery and i like to go on how that image makes me feel and what it makes me think uh, according to who and what i'm reading on okay and so this particular one, though, because of the imagery and all the fire and her kind of seductive way that she's looking and she's got that fierce stare and she's looking right at us, it kind of gives me that feeling of, I don't get a page. I, I, this is the princess, so, so the princess of wands. So that's the page of wands. I don't feel page in this card. I feel queen. I feel queen of wands. That's who I feel. It doesn't look like a, a page in my mind, okay? This woman is fierce. So this is someone who is beyond her years, okay? This is someone who has went from, you know, zero to 10 in like 2.5 seconds, okay? This, this woman went from page to queen like overnight and she's on her way, okay? So I, I, I'm kind of curious to see who this is. I don't quite know who this is. I don't think we're talking about Maya here, okay? Um, I don't think we're talking about Maya. 
Um, I'm not quite sure who we're talking about. I'm going to have to actually pull another card. It might actually be the situation as a whole. It might be the investigation. It might, to me, I'm almost looking at it right next to that Justice card and right next to that Ten of Wands, and then all of a sudden the Page of Wands comes out, although I, took, I look at this as like a very, very beyond her years page. It almost makes me think of the investigation because wands are, you know, they're, they're, they're fire, right? They're uh, our feelings, ur urges, desires, um, our ego, spirituality. And so I'm kind of almost wondering if, if this could be a little bit of the investigation and how it has possibly been running... <sighs> I don't want to say cold. I feel like it's the investigation taking off, and I feel like there's something. I feel like this page of wands is some 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 form of evidence that they have collected that is really going to take off. Okay, that is going to tur turn this investigation in into a different direction. She's been missing for six months. Okay, they've been looking for her for six months. They've also been working on just the case in its entirety in six months. You cannot tell me that they're not looking at Larry. They're not. They're not going on. They're. They're looking at everything. Okay, they're looking at phone logs. They're looking at um, everything. Social media. They're talking to people. They're talking to witnesses. They're talking to coworkers, employees. They are doing their job, but it takes time, okay? And they have been working, I'm sure, diligently in the past six months. But there's been something here recently, and I feel like this card to me indicates that. There's been something recently that they have gotten a hold of that has completely changed the direction of this case. I'm getting a lot of tens. I'm getting a lot of endings, okay? I'm getting a lot of endings and conclusions. And with that justice card, I feel like there's something going on, and it has definitely pushed this this investigation into a new direction and it is going to take off like wildfire i wouldn't be surprised if we start hearing something soon okay i feel like this card here is a page but she's stepping into a queen's role and i feel like that fire is indicating the investigation if that makes sense i hope that explanation made sense because that's kind of how i'm looking at that page of of wands um then the death so we've got change okay we've got change now we can look at this death i'm looking at this death and i'm thinking back to that ten of swords and i have i have some opinions on that and i'm not gonna say it okay i'm not gonna put it out there you can you know take it as you will but i do feel like i i have my own thoughts about the situation and it's not it's not good okay so i am almost taking this in a literal sense but i'm all also taking it metaphorically i you know i i do believe there has been a transition of sorts spiritually but i also feel like things are in the process of changing right now as well i think that this whole row here um this whole row to me is the case okay it's the case it's the investigation and things are popping right now Okay, things are popping and things are changing and there there's definitely going to be some change uh, going on and I, I think that we're going to hear soon. Um, and I do with that four of wands, I feel like we're talking about Larry, we're talking about the husband. This is that marriage card. This is a celebration usually. So we're talking about we're talking about the marriage. We're talking about Larry. And to me here, okay, this card is coming out because to me she's saying this is somebody that she trusted. This is somebody that was there to protect her, okay? She's seen this as a protector, her, her spouse. And although she may have been considering possibly a divorce, I, I don't think that she for any, any second thought that he could possibly do anything to harm her. Um, but I do think he did, okay? And so I do think that this is coming out as a message that this was a betrayal. This was somebody, this was a spouse, okay? This was somebody that she loved at one time that supposedly loved her. This is a marriage. And this is someone that she trusted, okay? This was her companion, someone that she trusted. And that was a complete, we've gotten quite a few stabbing in the back betrayal cards. The number one that I'm thinking of is that Ten of Swords, okay? So this is definitely, it kind of, even though they were arguing, okay? Even though they had their issues and there were some bickering, there were some arguments. 
I don't think that she ever thought for even a hot second that this would have happened, okay? Never imagined in her wildest dreams that this was going to happen, but he didn't plan accordingly. He didn't plan perfectly, okay? His, his, his thing is about to collapse. His whole world is about to collapse as he knows it. I almost guarantee it. I almost guarantee it. With these, with these cards, I feel like this whole thing within a couple of weeks... I think we'll have a lot more information. And then we've got the hangman. So again, I feel like it's almost a message that he is trapped. And he is trapped by his own doings. He brought this on himself. He's the one who did something. God forbid if he did something, he's the one who did it. Okay, He has no one else to blame but himself. He's the one who put himself in that situation. And I feel like this is also an indication that says that, you know what, he's just waiting for this to happen. I feel like he knows. He knows that things are coming to an end. He knows that the games are up. He knows that the, the you know, things are about to kind of... Uh, wrap themselves up and he's just waiting for it to happen okay i i don't even think at this point he uh he he probably i don't i don't want to say that he's accepted it you know maybe he i don't want to say he's accepted it but but he knows it's coming okay he knows it's coming and he's just kind of hanging there waiting waiting for this to happen waiting for the for the shoe to drop because it's about ready to drop. I really do feel like an arrest is probably um, going to happen soon. All right, so I want to ask, where is she? I want to see if we can talk about a location. Where, where is Maya? Because that's really what we want to know, right? Where is Maya? Where is Maya? Where is Maya? Where is Maya? Where are you? Give us a hint. Give us a clue as to where you are. Give us a clue as to where you are. Put some reversals in there. Give us a clue. Give us a clue where you're at. Okay. All right. Let me stop there for a second. Um, when I'm asking where she's at and the Five of Pentacles comes up, when I pulled this card, the first word that I heard in my head was cold. Cold. Okay? She is, I feel like, in a place that is cold. That is the only other way that I can describe this card. We're not looking at the Five of Pentacles as its traditional definition. I'm looking at this as she is in a place where it is cold. Okay? Um, I don't know where that is. It, really, I don't know because right now it's not cold anywhere, uh, at least as far as I know. Um, so that means that it's got to be in a certain place where, uh, you know, I, I, I get cold. Okay, she's, she's cold. That's what it is. Um, and potentially definitely hurt. Okay, harmed. There is some physical, uh, there, there, something happened to her physically. And this is a five. So we've got five pentacles. So is that you know, I, oh God, I, I don't even like to say it, but is that five injuries? Is that five gunshots? Is that five, you know, that's kind of where I'm leaning right now, unfortunately, with this card. Yeah, it's like whatever happened to her, um, I, I feel like five plays a huge role in it, okay? Um, there is injury and she is in a place that's cold. Um, this ace, ace of swords, Hold on a second. All right. I do feel like... Mm, I, I definitely do feel like he put her somewhere and he left her. He, he left her somewhere. He abandoned her somewhere. I think he put her someplace where it's cold and he walked away and he left her there and he abandoned her. Now, this here indicates outside, but that doesn't make sense with the cold. But then again, hold on a second. She went missing back in January. Okay, you know what? She went missing back in January, so it was cold. It was cold when, she, when, when this happened. It was cold. Then again, they're out in California. I don't know what, it, what kind of temperature 
it would be in January in California. I'm not sure if it would. It, it's cold as hell here, so I don't. I'm not quite sure about that. But I'm getting cold, okay? And I'm getting he left her somewhere. He left her somewhere, and this to me indicates kind of perhaps outside, okay? If that makes sense, I I, I don't even know if it makes sense, but that's what I'm getting. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So this is something new. This is like um, new thought, new idea. I, I, I feel like this to me indicates that he came up with this on the spur of the moment. Okay, this wasn't something planned. This actually tells me that whatever these two things are was not planned. It was something that he came up with last minute. He didn't know what to do. He just came up with the idea and he did it. So that also tells me that if it wasn't thought out and it wasn't planned, it's possible that he made a mistake. It's possible he messed up. He left some sort of evidence. He left some sort of trace. And I do think that it is going to be discovered eventually. So when I ask, where is Maya? And I pull these three cards. He left her someplace cold. He left her cold and dark. Okay. And it wasn't planned. It was something that he, it's literally popped into his head as to how to deal with it at that time. It was a spur of the moment. It was definitely out of the blue. It wasn't planned. It wasn't, it wasn't like premeditated or anything like that. So I'm almost wondering if we're looking at something like an argument and uh, perhaps that led to uh, something else. Perhaps him losing his temper and him doing something to her out of like a, 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 pa a crime of passion. That's kind of what I'm, I'm leaning towards here. A crime of passion and he flipped out and he did whatever he did to her and did what he had to do, I guess, to dispose of her, which I don't even like saying. All right, let's see. Um, I want to ask a couple of cards. I want to see... What's going on in, in Larry's mind? I, I feel like with that that hanged man, I do get a sense that he kind of knows that the you know the shoe's about to drop here on him. But I'm I want to pull a couple of cards here just to kind of see what is in his mindset right now. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so now we're getting the lovers. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. This is definitely, we're looking at Larry. We are definitely looking at Larry here. Um, damn. All right, so... The Lovers, the Knight of Swords, those two together, side by side, that bothers me. That, that concerns me. That concerns me. I don't like seeing these two side by side because that is some sort of harsh and swift action he took against his, his wife. So this does tell me that there was some sort of love at one point in time. Okay, I don't, or I, I, I would assume that there, there was some sort of love and connection between the two of them. But look at how that knight is aiming towards that couple. I mean, he is going right towards that couple and he is going full force and he is headed right over there with that sword. And it just, to me, makes me feel like this man, he literally destroyed his own marriage. Uh, he literally destroyed his marriage. This was somebody... I, I definitely had no doubt in my mind that we were talking about Larry the minute that that Knight of Cups came up. And I do think that, that this year is just another validation of, yeah, we're, we're talking about the marriage. It, something happened that night. I really do. Um, we've got the Six of Cups, so the blast from the past. This is nostalgia. This is memories. I know she's got three kids, and I don't know their ages. I think the youngest might be around four or five. The oldest might be around 10 or 11, if I'm not mistaken. So... But this is Larry's reading. I asked what was going on in Larry's mind, okay? So he could actually be kind of in his mind right now thinking of past experiences, possibly questioning why he did what he did. I don't know. This to me is... It almost makes me feel like... Does he even realize that he... 
it's possible he took the mother of their children or you know the mother of his children away we've got a girl here we've got a girl so i keep feeling like there's something going on with a child there's something going on with a child and the memory the memory of mom the memory of mom what is he doing um you know what it makes me think of the fact that he has not allowed maya's family to continue to have a relationship with the children in the beginning he was okay i think i read that i read the whole article of the interview with maya's sister according to maya's sister in the beginning he was behaving somewhat what you would expect to be normal behavior the grandkids were still able to see her side of the family okay their mom's side of the family but then as the time passed he he became more distant and the children became more distant as a result as well and so it kind of makes you wonder if he is possibly manipulating the children possibly planting seeds of certain things in the children's minds could he be this concerns me and it makes me feel like he could be playing or tainting the memory of their mother he is he trying to create a narrative in his children's mind is he trying to brainwash them that's kind of what i'm getting from this card i feel like he's almost trying because i i'm looking at this card and the minute i seen it i thought of her and a child her and a child her and a child and so at first i i i'm it, it it takes me a while this is why i have to talk it out guys even when when i talk out the cards i'm doing it for you and for me <laughs> um it does help me to talk it out and to get it out and to kind of you know put the pieces of the puzzle together so as i'm talking it out and i'm looking at it i feel like this could potentially be him trying to somewhat brainwash the children on the memory or the legacy of their mother okay and it's not in a good way it's not in a good way he's painting seeds that are not good that are not honest and they're not trustworthy it sounds like he is trying to separate the children from her family okay he's trying to 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 create that wedge and you know children are susceptible to that they don't they don't you know they they just kind of of course why would they question what dad is telling them okay they I think I read in an article, there's like a little clip, there's a video, and like I said, I'll have all of that shared in the description box, but there's a little clip where just recently the media went to Maya and her husband's home, and uh, I, I can't, I think it might have been when they seized her Jeep recently, like a week or two ago. So Larry's dad was there at that time, and Larry's dad, Larry was at work, okay, so he was at work, and his dad was there, but his dad actually came out of the house and he started communicating to the media. And he actually tried to tell the media that Maya left her family, that she abandoned the family. She left. Okay, there's nothing wrong with her. She left. She abandoned her her kids. She she just left her kids. And so I think the audience or the people that were outside of the property started like booing at him and yelling at him because it's such an outrageous statement. But when this card comes up it kind of confirms that 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 is the the narrative that larry and his father are trying to spin to the kids i really do believe that he's using this as a tool to manipulate the kids and tell them that their mother left them their mother left them she abandoned them she left them and it's starting to play with the kids memories okay it's starting to affect the kids which is not good that that's that's horrible so again remember this is larry's reading okay so this is these are the cards that i pulled on larry he is manipulating the memory of his kids' mother but okay things are coming to an end things are coming to an end this is literally the the, the last of the major arcana this is the end this is the the completion the world Okay, so his world as he knows it between this one, that Ten of Wands and that Justice card, his his world is ending as he knows it and it's ending soon. And I think that the kids are young enough. Enough time has not gone by. 
enough time has not gone by to completely convince the children that their mom abandoned them okay i do fully believe that they will learn the truth unfortunately and it will take some time to kind of undo what he has done to their to their minds to their memory to their brain but it can be done and it will be done but his his ending is coming soon okay so i'm actually going to pull a couple cards from the new era elements and uh then i'm going to go ahead and end it there because uh, i i really i i feel like i i feel like this is going to have a resolution to it soon i hope so because this is just awful this is just awful um let's see what we have here all right so a couple cards here just to kind of finish up this reading and i hope i can get this video out tonight it's been taking a long time for me to upload my videos for some reason it literally used to take like a half an hour to upload videos once i do my adding my pictures and whatnot but for whatever reason the last two videos it literally took like four hours to upload i don't know what happened why it's taking that long but that has actually accounted for some of the videos coming out a little bit late so i apologize all right so we've got oh this one fell out six of cups six of cups interesting that the six of cups fell out right we just pulled the six of cups but in this case it's a happiness card right that's the typical definition so that's the 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 message that's the overall message and i do think that that came out because it's telling me that the six of cups that i just pulled yes i do think that there is some brainwashing going on there is but like i just said it's not going to last it's not been long it's not it hasn't been so long as to completely brainwash them okay he hasn't had enough time because i think that really when all said and when all is said and done and i do think that there will be an arrest eventually soon actually i i think it's going to be sooner than later i do believe that probably her family will get custody of the children and they will try to provide them the most normal life at all possible and they will they will they will make sure that the memory of their mother um is accurate okay and it will then turn in it, it, it will transition into a happiness it's not a happy ending i know it isn't but it, it's not he's not going to get away with what he's doing to to his children okay okay conflict father defeat okay so we've got two fives here things aren't stand, stand. i need a different one i need a different one okay uh we've got two fives here and we've got a father i think that honestly this is him i i really think it's him i I really do father of air so this is the king of swords but i'm looking at these two cards beside him and it's not good i mean he's literally smack dab in the middle of conflict and defeat okay so we have the five of swords and then we have the five of wands so this is the five of wands and the five of swords so this is definitely to me what he is literally experiencing and about to experience right he is uh really spun himself especially this one i really actually kind of like this one here it's really uh it's interesting it's an interesting imagery but he has really literally spun himself into a, a, a web like he's trapped himself is what he's done okay he's done something he's been trying to lie he's been trying to spin lies he's been trying to 
you, you know, cover up. I mean, he's literally that spider, and he's literally trying to uh, spin a web of lies around him to protect himself, and it's just not working. It's not going to work. Uh, he is going to be defeated. I really take this as literal, okay? Things are coming to an end soon. Let me pull one more card. One more card. One more card on Maya Malete. Maya Malete. One more card on Maya Malete. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I could not pull a better card. Literally. It's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. It's not okay. Because I do feel like he hurt her. He harmed her. And it's not okay. But I do feel like this is a sign that there is going to be a conclusion in this case. There's going to be some sort of... Yeah, there, I, I do believe that he is not going to get away with this, okay? And I think it's going to be soon. And it's going to take, I think, years for the children to kind of deal with this. I, I Actually, I think that children are kind of more able to bounce back from tragedy uh, I'm not sure. I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that, actually. I, I'm, I don't know that for a fact. Uh, it just, it to me, I just look at this as a good sign that they're going to be okay. I, I do believe 100%. I do know from the article that I read and the interview from Maya's sister that this family seems to be really tight-knit, and they seem to be extremely loving and supportive, and they seem like a wonderful family to have. And so I have no doubt, I don't even know these people, but just from what little I have read from the sister, I have no doubt that if and when something happens to this father, okay, to Maya's husband, Larry, if he is arrested, okay, by chance, I think that these kids will be absolutely well taken care of by their family, by their mom's family. They will take them in and, and do anything that they need to for this family. So I do, or these kids, so I do feel like this is a good card. And on that note, I'm going to leave it there um, and uh, go ahead and uh, just kind of leave it on somewhat of a good note, if that makes sense. But that is it for this week's reading. Uh, in regards to last week's reading, Summer Wells, I had a couple of people ask if I would do a reading on a reading on the dad, Don Wells. And I'm thinking about possibly doing a reading. I don't know. I'm kind of debating it, to be honest with you. It's become such... Oh, God. It's become such a shit show. I'm not even going to lie. It is... Ugh, I, I honestly don't know. I, I kind of wanted to do one out of curiosity. I was going to think about maybe doing a reading on dad, mom, and grandma. And just kind of do all three of them in one reading. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. But if I do, it'll be this week. Okay, It'll be like a midweek video. Also, I do want to let you guys know that I probably will not be doing a video next Saturday. I do have a family function that I have to attend to. And I wanted to let you guys know ahead of time, but I am going to desperately try to uh, record something. There's there's definitely going to be a midweek video, one way or the other. I'm either going to record a midweek video and post it on Saturday or post it on Sunday, or I'm going to just do the, the midweek video. Um, but I definitely will give you another video this week, but I'm not going to be able to do my normal Saturday recording and uploading on Sunday because I do have that function to attend but I uh, would never leave you guys hanging I want you guys to know uh, I, I hate skipping a week like that I hate it even when I upload late so I did want to give you guys a heads up but other than that I will be right back to my schedule after that and again thank you guys so much for getting me to 1000 subscribers I am so excited I you you don't even know okay like I had to tell everybody in the house I was going around telling everybody in the house my kids are probably tired of me telling them that I have that many subscribers so it's whatever I, I was proud of myself so I just wanted to share with everybody like a million and one times but anyway uh, <laughs> let me stop before I uh, start rambling here I'm already rambling all right, guys, have a wonderful week. Try to stay cool, and I will see you next time.